Hi, I'm Marina with Lip Maps, and today I'm going to go over the five best ways to use Lip Maps to support your research and literature review. Let's get started. Number one, use Lip Maps to search for articles for your literature review. To search for articles in Lip Maps, just go to app.lipmaps.com and click on Quick Search at the top left. Search for your research topic or look up a paper you already know. Click on any of these articles that seem related to your topic. You only need to click one, but you can also select more than one if they also seem relevant to your research. When you're done, just click Explore Related Articles. The resulting lip map now gives us those inputted articles in the dark circles and suggested articles in these hollowed out circles. I can click around the article suggestions on the map by highlighting over them and selecting them. If the article looks relevant to my topic, I can click on it and read more, like its title and abstract. If I want to read more about this, I can just click on the title and I'll be taken directly to the source page. LitMaps recommends articles based on connection. So as you can see, many of these articles are connected to one another on the map by citing or referencing one another. You can also review the LitMap suggestions in the sidebar on the left. To learn more about exactly how the LitMaps algorithm works and how the suggestions are generated, click on the link in the description below for our in-depth video. Number two, use LitMaps to find newer versions of older papers. Sometimes in the literature review process, you might find an article that's really relevant to your topic, but slightly out of date. You can use LitMaps to find more recent work that's connected to that original paper. For example, here's an article I might be interested in that was published in 2017. I'll pull up this paper in LitMaps and try to find more recent work on the same topic. I go to the app and click quick search and search for this paper. I just paste in its DOI and hit enter. Here's the paper. I'll just select it and click explore related articles. LitMaps now returns to me suggested articles based on this paper's citations, references, and co-citations. Although a lot of these recommendations are after 2018, I can focus in on even more recent work by clicking the date filter at the top and looking for articles published only after 2023. After rerunning the search, I now get recommendations that are all published within the last year. This is a great way to find recently published work on your topic. Number three, use LitMaps to find research gaps. Research gaps refer to any unexplored or not yet understood area of scientific research. And these are really important to find when starting a new project or understanding what area of research to focus in on. You can use LitMaps to identify research gaps by honing in on what area doesn't have a lot of published literature behind it. You can also use LitMaps to visualize different categories or topics and note where some potential interdisciplinary gaps may exist. I cover this use case in detail in another video, so look at the link in the description of this video to find out exactly how to use LitMaps to find research gaps. Number four, organize and manage your literature using LitMaps. LitMaps offers several different ways to keep your literature organized and to visualize all the papers you've collected to make it easier to keep track of your entire literature review. I can save articles I like in LitMaps by clicking on them and clicking tag. We can create tags based on subcategories, authors, or any other separation that makes sense for you. If you continually tag articles as you go, you'll end up with a map that looks a little bit like this. I have different colors corresponding to different subtopics on my field, and I can also organize my lit map visually. In the lit maps options, we can explore, design, or monitor. If I click on open design, I'll be able to move articles around and categorize them in useful ways. We can also use LitMaps visualizations in order to help us prioritize what to read or what papers to focus on. So in this example, these white papers are recommendations from LitMaps. But at this point in my literature review, I might be overwhelmed by just the sheer quantity of papers available. What I can do is note that the axes are sorted based on date and citation count. But I can even update those to change them. For example, instead of citation count, I can use something called map relevance. This will now rank the papers based on the ones that are the most interconnected to all the other articles on the map. That's a great way to quickly identify which articles might be the most important ones on my topic based on the fact that they're highly connected to all the rest of the articles I've already passed in 
and the suggested articles. Number five, don't let your literature review get out of date. LitMaps lets you run your searches automatically every week or every month, so you're alerted when any new papers on your topic come out. This feature is known as Monitor, and you can run it on any LitMap that you create. To use Monitor, simply open any existing LitMap you already have. From the different options available, click on Open Monitor, and then hit Enable Monitor. That's all you need to do in order to keep this search alive and have it automatically run every single week. LitMaps will then email you if any new papers have been added to the LitMaps database that are relevant to your topic based on how they connect to this set of papers that you already have on your LitMap. You can also customize what results you get back by setting a target keyword filter here or changing if you want to see the results weekly versus monthly. I hope you now better understand the best use cases for LitMaps and how it can help you throughout your research process and literature review. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.